and welcome back to the moon. I'm going to start here with a an image from Apollo 12. I wanted to show you some interesting things I found here. Uh, this is an image um, from the uh, Apollo 12 uh, orbiting. It's an orbital image and uh, it starts out, this is the original image from the uh, NASA website. Uh, the image number is AS12-50-7416 <clears throat> and then I uh, just blew it up here a little bit and started looking around and basically this is how it starts but I, I downloaded the print resolution uh, one and I, I started looking at it this was actually um, enhanced by uh, not this version I'm going to show you the enhanced version in a minute um, got me looking at the original and these these uh, uh, lines here of course started to look like roads to me of course uh, everyone thinks oh that must just be some volcanic ruptures or cracks or something but then you start seeing that these these roads connect to each other um, and then you start following them around and you see that yes they are in fact roads and so I'll uh, show you the enhanced version here, if I could find it, um, and this is uh, I uploaded this to Gigapan, and this was enhanced originally by Keith Laney uh, from KeithLaney.net, which I recommend visiting his site. He's got a lot of work there uh, that he does, and then I I just made the image larger and uh, enhanced the contrast even more, <clears throat> and this is what you end up with. But it does give you a little bit more detail when you zoom in. Um, there's a lot going on in the uh, Humboldt crater. Uh, first of all, all these white lines you see um, are um, roads. Uh, as you zoom in, um, you can see there are actually some of these are actually trenched out, and you could actually see. Uh, you'll have to explore this for yourself. I'll put the link in the description, but you can actually see vehicles moving along through these trenched uh, roads. Some of these are covered uh, roadways. Um, there's lots of mining activity, lots of buildings. Um, one of the more amazing images I've seen of the moon. And uh, I wanted to show you around there. I, before I get into all the details of this, uh, to give you an overview, I wanted to just show you how things start out. I mean, it's a pretty sad state of affair when you have uh, an image. This is the best image we can get from NASA. Um, not real good. Uh, here's another image I wanted to show you that uh, of the moon. And we'll look at this one. Uh, and, oh, wait a minute. That's not the moon. That's uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. But but it was taken by NASA, so that's why it comes out like that. You see, it could be, could look like this. But no, no, that way it would be too easy to zoom in and actually see what's going on there. So we end up with uh, the moon images, which are this. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Let's go back to uh, the enhanced version. And after you clean it up and en enhance the contrast, you end up with... Um, quite a bit of detail and I'll show you just some some highlights but you can look at this yourself but as you can see as you zoom in and uh, you're gonna need a nice monitor um, so if you can't see the detail you know please don't leave any negative comments unless you have a very good monitor and you have the resolution set to 1440 in YouTube which is what I'm recording this as but you can see there's a lot of equipment things going on here here's a little opening tunnel, the roadway coming through, uh, lots of buildings. Over here we have a lot of, uh, a lot of structures. Uh, another covered roadway going along here. Um, roadways crossing each other. But one of the highlight areas is this road, main road, which seems to come from this center mound, which possibly could be um, uh, some sort of structures as well. Uh, almost looks like a major intersection here with some equipment and then as you follow it along this way uh, it comes up 
and you could literally just follow these roads along and it comes up into this area, it comes up into here, uh, opens into this spot, and then if you start looking up here, uh, all these rocks are carved into faces and so forth, which must be pretty spectacular and, uh, to be there. And coming up the roadway and then you have these huge faces carved in and amongst these faces uh, you can see roads, openings. Uh, like I said, explore this for yourself. I'm not going to be able to zoom in too close without everything getting, getting pixelated, but uh, it's an amazing area. There's a lot going on at the Humboldt Crater. So you can follow these roads coming along here. More structures in here. Lots of towers. Um, hopefully you can see this. Hopefully you can tell there's a lot more going on than uh, that initial picture I showed you from NASA, uh, where it's just overexposed and all you can see is uh, gray nothingness. Take a look at that. Uh, it's the Humboldt Crater. I've uploaded it to Gigapan. I'm going to put the link uh, so you can just log, uh, log into Gigapan and uh, type in moon. If you don't click the link and you'll find the images in the moon uh, section. But there's a lot to look at and you can get in pretty close. Um, I've made the image fairly large so you can take your time and really um, see some amazing details. And that's the Humboldt Crater. A lot going on. Take a look and enjoy.